Ever since I started making videos, I have always wanted to be a travel filmmaker. Running around the world with your friends, filming crazy locations in the perfect conditions, doing backflips, and especially blue ass water. So that's what I set out to do. Ever since I was 15 years old, I worked at it day in and day out, making videos, some really bad videos, and slowly refining and developing my filmmaking skills. But there was one skill I never seemed to master, and that was the ability to control the weather. It seemed like I was the guy to always have the worst luck when it came to weather conditions. So many times we would go places just to be met by rain, clouds, and overcast skies. I could never figure out how everyone else seemed to always get lucky and always get those perfect conditions. The desire for perfect conditions became damaging. I was so hyper-focused on needing everything to be perfect that sometimes I wouldn't even pull out my camera. I felt there was no point in wasting my time filming because unless it was similar to those bright skies and blue ass water you see on social media, it wasn't good enough. This led me to the top of a very slippery slope, comparing myself to other creators and feeling like the only thing that separated me from them was something I couldn't control. I felt like my luck was always against me. That all changed when I read the book, How to Be an Imperfectionist by Stephen Guise. This book dives into getting over the need for everything to be perfect and embracing the imperfect. This then reminded me of a quote by Winston Churchill. Perfection is the enemy of progress. Why did I care so much about the things I couldn't control, such as the weather? Some people's entire filmmaking style revolves around what I like to call moody vibes. The more rain, clouds, and fog, the better. An example of this is through my friend and fellow YouTube filmmaker, Aiden Robbins. We have collaborated on a couple videos in the past, and he has always gone out in search of clouds, fog, and rain. Things that you would naturally consider imperfect conditions. Through this, I've learned that you definitely don't need blue ass water to make a good video. And this led me to last October. Aiden hit me up for another adventure somewhere across the globe, and this time, Italy. We planned a week-long trip through the Dolomites, packed our bags, and we were off. As you can see, the conditions were far from perfect, but we had come way too far to not film anything just because of the weather. So we decided to make the most of it. We decided to embrace the fog, rain, and overcast skies. And even if you couldn't see the tops of the mountains, it didn't matter. We were here for the adventure. Honestly, in my opinion, these conditions actually made for better footage. After looking back at it, the stuff that we got was more moody, dramatic, and all in all was more cinematic than if we had those perfect conditions. The fog and rain added more drama to a lot of the stuff we shot and made it way more unique than the stuff you typically see on social media. Now this need for perfectionism doesn't just apply to the weather, it applies everywhere. The perfect gear, the perfect location, the perfect idea. If you're hindering yourself to the point where you're not making anything, that is more damaging than if you just ran with it. Filmmaking is used to tell the story that you want to tell. It doesn't matter what someone else is going to think. A classic example of this in our industry is everyone's need for the best gear. We're guilty of it too. We get so caught up in the idea that the best camera will make the best video and tell the best story, but that's simply not true. To be honest, it's all about how you tell the story. Everything else doesn't really matter. So as cliche as it sounds, get out there and create what you wanna create and tell the stories that you want to tell. And if you are one of the lucky few to get those perfect conditions, make the most of that blue ass water. Hello. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. It was a ton of fun to make and the trip was a total blast. Um, so thank you I, for giving your time and watching this video. Also, 
Huge thank you to Aiden Robbins for helping us film this entire video. Um, some of the shots were filmed by him, some of the time lapses were filmed by him. And also he was the one who came up with the idea for doing this trip in the first place. So thank you for that, Aiden, if you're watching, hello. Lastly, we want to give a huge thank you to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this entire thing. It would not have been possible without their help. And if you don't know what Epidemic Sound is, you must be living under a rock. But Epidemic Sound is a great source for music for any of your videos. Especially when doing videos for clients, dancing around music licensing can get extremely tricky. Epidemic Sound allows our clients to use their music on paid ad platforms such as Facebook or Instagram. They have so many different categories and genres that they sort their music under, which allows you to really narrow down your search results and find that perfect song. Also, for sound effects, they have a really handy tagging system that makes it really easy to find the exact sound effect you're looking for. The Epidemic Sound commercial plan allows you to use their music on all of your social media platforms, as well as all of your clients' social media platforms as well. However, if you are looking for music just for your own personal social media platforms, they do have their personal plan, which allows you to do just that, and it's a little cheaper as well. So if you're at all interested in Epidemic Sound, there's going to be a link in the description down below where you can get yourself a 30 day free trial. We highly recommend it. And with that, again, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Also go follow us on Instagram at TMS Productions underscore. And we will see you next week with a little bit of behind the scenes and tutorial video. So stay tuned for that. See you later. Bye.